I covered the last two Olympic Games that I covered with CBC News. So I would cut a deal to meet the athletes by the garbage can of the CTV set. That is not happening anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Not happening anymore. Oh, CBC, all giddy that they've got the Olympics again. They outbid everyone else using your money. Jerry Agar joins me now to talk more about this insanity. Uh, Jerry, we should get it off the top that you and I worked for major broadcasters, competing yep. broadcasters, to well, not only to each other, but to uh, CBC as well. Yeah. And we own sports stations. But I think that you're like me, and long before you started working for a competitor to CBC, you just figured this was nuts. Well, here's the thing. I, I guess the argument that the CBC would like to uh, make in not revealing how much they actually spent is that it's some sort of proprietary thing. But in the end, we're paying for it. And I want to know whether or not they can do this at a profit. Because, in fact, if they can't do it at a profit, I don't think it's legitimate for the CBC to take on the Olympics. If CTV or Global or anybody else, uh, I don't know who those others would be, but whoever it might be, uh, this network, wanted to uh, weigh in. And well, you, you know, it wouldn't be Sun News, but our, our uh, partners in Quebec in, with, uh, with TVA and TVA Sports, Sports, they might want to have the the French rights well, within yes. Canada. And the fact is that everybody else is outbid. The reason it costs so much to host the Olympics is that CBC, with one exception, that being the last two Olympics, CBC will outbid everyone else using their own money because, uh, you know, Bell pays taxes, Quebec yep. Corps pays taxes, those tax dollars go to CBC, and then CBC uses them against their competitors. Well, well yeah, and what I was going to say there, Brian, is that if some other private entity takes on the Olympics and loses money, well, that's up to them, and shareholders or whoever else might have an issue with it. They might decide that they're going to lose money on the Olympics because it's a premier thing and they want to be known as the network with the Olympics. But I don't think that opportunity should be afforded to the CBC because such a large amount, the majority of their money, comes from the taxpayers. Yeah, Therefore, we have the right to know what they're doing. 64%, let's bring that up now, 64% of their money comes from the government, 20% from advertising, that's all on TV, and increasingly on the web, 9% of specialty services, most of those are from channels like News World that were essentially uh, mandatory carriage, so you had to pay for them through your cable bill, a bit of a backdoor tax there, and then other income, 7%. But 64% of their money comes from the government. You and I own it. We deserve to know. And here they are being secretive again, saying we don't have to tell you. Well, uh, one reason that we should know, since it's our money, not only whether or not they can run this thing and return the money through advertising, but how high a number did they put out in order to chase off the other competitors? In other words, to use fictional numbers, if, uh, C if CTV and Global were around the $100 range and CBC just said, let's just say $200 and nobody would be anywhere close to it, and uh, what do we care? It's the taxpayer money anyway. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, well, exactly, but we won't know. Uh, there have been uh, estimates out there before when CTV and Global had it. We don't have an estimate yet from uh, industry analysts on CBC, not that I've seen yet, but uh, th this is part of the problem with the state broadcaster, and yes, they are the state broadcaster. That's how they used to describe themselves. That's what they still are. They are owned by the government. They are have all their appointments made by the government. So we own them. They say, well, the law says we don't have to tell you, so we won't. Wouldn't it be better for them to be open? I mean, I know this is an organization that took seven years to tell us their top 20 uh, overtime earners, uh, but wouldn't it be better for them with their claim of openness and transparency to say, here's what we paid? No, uh, the CBC will go aggressively after anyone that uh, they want information on. Certainly, if they think the information should be public, they will make sure it gets out there. Uh, because, after all, if we don't have the CBC, as they like to say, who is going to ask the tough questions and tell the truth, as if somehow they're the only real media entity in this country. But when it comes to turning that around and uh, pointing the same finger at them, absolutely not. They are an island, and we should just be damn lucky we have them, Brian. Well, I'm, I'm sure that they were part of the court case to get the, uh, the, 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 uh, in the publication ban, sorry, that's the word, lifted 
in the Rob Ford case to get those papers out there. They will go to court to get information released on other people. Yeah. They won't release it themselves. Well, they are arrogant and uh, self-serving. Uh, they are very proud of themselves. And uh, you and I are very fond of saying, uh, get off the public dollar and compete. We're happy to have you out there uh, amongst the rest of us swimming in the same pool. We'll see how we all do. Uh, they, of course, are disinclined to do that, as is anybody who lives off the public teat. I mean, uh, you know who they ought to hire? They ought to hire Mike Duffy, and he could be their spokesperson. <laughs> Well, he did used to work for them. We'll leave that at the. We'll leave that one alone for now, Jerry. Uh, we won't give out too many details, but uh, interesting developments concerning you and Sun News. We'll be seeing more of you on the network as of Monday. Yes, you will. Are we able to say anything more than that, or is it stay tuned to Monday? I, well, I wasn't told that we're not, but now that you ask it to me that way, how about we just say, you know what, get yourself through Halloween and stay tuned Monday. All right, so next week when Jerry is on, it won't say radio talk show host underneath. It's going to be there. Jerry, great talking to you. We'll chat again soon. Thanks, Brian.